Now we'll look at doc blocker, which is a really nice way to generate doc blocks. Now, if you've not worked with doc blocks before, these help to generate documentation like API documentation for your projects. So we, again, we're not going to dive too much into that, but we're going to look at doc blocker and see how this can help us. And to be honest, even if you're not doing this, it's really nice to have doc blocks on any of your methods or classes just to keep everything nice and simple to read. So let's go and install this. And if you've not seen doc blocks before, you can go ahead and check these out. So let's install doc blocker. Wait for that to download. And now it is done. Let's just open this file again. All I'm going to do is a forward slash two asterisks, and then I'm going to hit enter. And you can see what that's done is it's not only generated my doc blocks for me, but it's also kind of guessed what my parameter here is. So I have a parameter which is uh, set to a default of false and it knows now that that's a boolean. So all I need to do is go ahead and fill this in. I know that this returns a string and I can go and give a description here as well, like so. So pretty straightforward stuff, but it really helps to have something like this that you can just easily type in a couple of characters and get going on your doc blocks.